Hi everyone, Dr. Mike here. I'm going to teach you how an ECG works in under two minutes. So the first thing is ECGs measure the electrical activity of a heart and it's looking at the movement of positive things into or out of cells. If a muscle cell becomes positive inside the cell, it will contract. So in order to begin, we start here at the SA node. It starts to make the cells around it positive. And this wave of positive cells spreads. spreads. This is called depolarization and it moves in this direction through the atria. Now you can see here that this depolarization goes in the direction of this lead and here's the cheat sheet. If something positive goes in the direction of the lead, you get a bump up on the ECG readout. So here's the bump up. Then this positive wave or depolarization stops at this fibrous tissue. So it's gone through the atria and it pauses. Here's the AV node and this positive wave has to move slowly through. So you get this isoelectric point. Then it hits the bundle of his and the Purkinje fibers and the positive wave moves in this direction on average, which is away from the lead. Positive away from the lead, you get a dip down. Then what happens is it hits these Purkinje fibers and it moves in this particular direction. Now you're saying, well, that's away and towards. Now the left ventricle is more than twice as thick as the right, so it's overwhelming. So the direction of the lead and you get a big bump up. Then when you hit the top, it's going away from the lead. So you get a dip down. Now that we've finished and everything's positive, we need to make it negative again, and it goes in the opposite direction. So you get this overwhelming movement of negative stuff away from the lead. Negative things away from the lead, you get a bump up. And here's your ECG. This is atrial depolarization followed by atrial contraction, ventricular depolarization followed by ventricular contraction, and then this is repolarization.